It was the start of proceedings here at the 107 Godfrey Yuka Chitalu Stadium. As we welcome you officially to Kawe, Central Province, it is magnificent. Kabo Warriors, Wadianganga, Nde Wadiankuku, Wadiakake, Ari Mulandu, Njanji Ninjanji, up against the pensioners, Napsa Tangala Nabola. And I'm your match commentator, Matimba Nkonjem Sonda Chibulu, who will be giving us the expert analysis this afternoon. So, perfect matchup, and the scene has been set. Two teams that are playing this match almost like a cup final. Set-piece situation with the Ugandan Shafiq Batambuze. Took it to the Napsa goal, but defended very well. They will come up with it. He's hoping to get uh, Silave into the attack, clear out by Amos Simwanza. Shafiq Batambuze, Captain Ali Sadiki. Akakuluwa match against the bell of Lungu. Combined effort to be very tight, and they have shown that in their marking. Oh, yet again, uh, Luka Banda coming up against the big f uh, frame of uh, Akakulu Yamachi. Heavily involved early on, Luka Banda and Luka Ngoni. Into the box, headed by Luka Banda. Ngoni, second. Looks like uh, as a centre back, but he has come in on the right side. Be interesting to see when he's tested by the likes of uh, Siddiqui, who have pace. Ngoni. He taken to the test now. Cross comes through. Opportunity here for Cabo Warriors. Kept alive. Shot. Still in play. He can bring in the second ball is Shafiq Batambuze. Punch is good. A chance here. And uh, we show them hell. And so we wait to see the hellfire that uh, Napsa Stars will be able to run here. And Zobrigo as well. Good ball now for Kowani. Picked up by Napsa Stars now. Zobrigo. Kata, strong the Ugandan, just coming in to help out as the defensive tether of the central period for the Cabo Warriors side. Mr. Odario has done well. Shafiq Batambuze, Warriors venturing forward. Ali Sadiki. Batambuze calling for the second ball. Ops. Shafiq Batambuze. It's really very com comfortable in this left back position, the Ugandan, and uh, the confidence level is really very high. An extension coming through from Simwanza, controlled nicely by Moa Mundia. Shafiq Batambuze, Prince Mumba. So Mumba now has come to the right, he has not been seen so much. Really becoming very predictable and uh, very difficult to see where the first goal or chance may come through. But now maybe Moa Pe. Again, uh, Shafiq Batambuze comes into the rescue for Cabo Warriors. They can build now with Ali Sadiki, who has gone to the right. Low and getting straight into the attack. Nkata. Headed out by Eric Kabulongoi, kept alive by Shafiq Batambuze. A few moments ago, we saw Chintu Kampamba. He's been busy on that uh, technical area, giving out instructions, uh, hoping to choke up a first win. And uh, group stages, they did make it, where they were alongside the likes of Koran Sport Garou of Cameroon, throwing in Tekken. Akakulu Yamachi, but uh, you know, people always remember you for missing penalties and also for bringing in penalties now, Moape. The challenge that came through on the Ugandan Shafiq Batambuze. Rough, rough challenge by Bonwell on this very composed Ugandan. So from behind. Well, one could say that uh, he did very well to try and press from the front. Well, it's always good if you're going to defend and press from the front because that gives you an opportunity. And that's one argument sometimes I do have. Uh, even with my interactions with coaches, that uh, a team that defends from the front, actually the goalkeepers and defenders who equally do a very good job. Philip, in this case, for instance, so far, you might say he's a hero for Napsa because he's managed to save that one. Banda? If they do keep the clean sheet here today, that will be down to Philip Banda's brilliant penalty serve. But like you say, defending is a team dynamic, really. It should not just be left to defenders. One thing for sure, in terms of my analysis of Prince Mumba's weakness, is uh, his passes normally are not uh, it's Luca Banda. His namesake, uh, Luca Nguni. Pressure from uh, Shafiq Batambuze gives away position. He's still talking uh, in the meantime when they throw. You go for his legs and you disturb his game. Seventeen was the same result as well. It's been very close to call when these two sides clash. Shafiq Batambuze for the 
Africa Warrior side. Touch on from Akakuluela Machiava. They are shining brightly in these last two minutes, Napsa Stars. Trying to shine bright like a star is Napsa Stars. <laughs> of uh, Saint, we can confirm they are head coach in uh, Chris Takatiko Kaunda. On uh, leave, you will not be part of the team for the last four games of uh, the. Just look at the possibilities of what may be done right or wasn't done right at uh, halftime. Just an overall analysis of the first half. Now, Sadiki whips in one. The chance here. Slight touch came through from Akaku. them into action. Kick out comes looking for Akakuluvele. Shafik Batambuze does well. That was a difficult ball to control and uh, just to have a pass come through. Missed by, Nils, uh, by Musa. Picked up by Ali Sadiki. Mundia first time wide. Lunda. Now, let's see if we're going to have an organized cross from the youngster in uh, Prince Mumba. Whipped in, headed out at the near, bus, uh, near post by Amos Simonza. Second time he's presented with it. Overcooked finds uh, Shafiq Batambuze. Does well to control first time. Opportunity here for Cabo Warriors. Though there's still a lot of white shirts, yellow shirts. Cross comes through, a chance, and sails past the... Sidiki couldn't read the run or the thinking of Batambuze on that particular occasion as they play short passes in the middle of the park, Cabo Warriors. It's a foul. Short passes but not covering a lot of ground, unfortunately. And that's why we say you can have position as long as it's in wrong areas and cannot be converted to create chances. Doesn't... Picked up by Shafiq Batambuze. Akakulu Yamachiara lays it very well for Ali Sadiki. It was late, a slow reaction that came through also from uh, Scott Ngokeni, who somewhat remained uh, rooted to his goal area when coming out. Took it there. Very, very influential for Heavy Renaz's uh, 2013 Kosafa winning squad with the likes of Festa Simbebe up front. But Doisi Soko, shot taken now by Muzi. But in the meantime, from uh, Philip Banda. A man high on confidence after that uh, penalty save. Nkata. Ndia for the very first time in a long time winning that ball. Shafik Batambuze. Again, Mundia straight to the opponent. Too many breakdowns in the Cabo Warriors midfield. And now they can be punished here and exposed white to Jimmy Mukea. Up against an experienced Dominic Chan who has improved really with his game since uh, leaving uh, Secret City and joining Cabo Warriors. The big man uh, now can uh, come through Ali Sadiki. It's a football as well for two Pisama Zembe's uh, Ali Sadiki. Shafik Batambuze. Nko Wani. Prince Mumba. Akakulu Yamachi Yaba. Batambuze. Desperately cleared out uh, by Luca Banda. Throw. Who had commanded a top four position for quite some time. Top of the tree in the MTN Super Division. That red zone is from position nine. And clearly the Leopards are not in a good space. Wow, Shafiq Batambuze. Cross comes through. And a twist at Chaibela. Fading to connect that one past uh, Philip Banda. Who's not happy with his defense? Shafiq Batambuze. Shafiq Batambuze. Whips in one into the box, looking for Twisa Chaiwela. Sadiki can still bring it back, but again he's, he has to bring it back to his uh, favorite left, Lunda, in his run. Put down. I'm really beginning to show signs of it ending in a draw, and it's uh, just one mistake or one moment of brilliance separates it. Beaten run to take them out of there did very well in continental football, and uh, second from the top, but uh, sent on administrative leave. Kawani, chance now. Yes, that's a right call. There was a leg there that came straight to Akakuluela Machiaba. Mumba. Good 
Playoff from uh, Mwachiava. But there was no one in the midfield for the Cabo Warriors side. Out come uh, the Napsa Stars. Linda. Nkowani. Mundia. Shafiq Batambuze. Sugandan is really making every move worthwhile for the Kawaria side now. Mumba cross comes through and again, go kick. A, a man marking scheme and Zobrigo has been in his pocket for large sections. Oh yeah, could this be the goal? And it's a goal! An unlikely goal scorer in Prince Mumba. Southern. Action by Dixon Chapa. They leave it all the way to goalkeeper Scotting Okeni. Wow. I'll tell you what, I think this is a win for Cabo Warriors, unless <laughs> otherwise. Because if I read already, Dario Simwin, they've already played two of the additional three. And the final whistle has come through here. And it's Cabo Warriors who emerge victorious. So after all is said and done here, a performance that has seen Cabo Warriors get one goal. It has ended. Cabo Warriors, Wadianganga, Nde Wadiankuku, one. Napsa Tangala Nabola New. Join us next time on the World of Champions. Goodbye for now. Thank you very much to our commentators, Matim Bankonja, alongside Musonda Chivulu for the brilliance as far as the delivery of the happenings at the uh, Godfrey Yuka Chitalo Stadium is uh, concerned. But obviously at the end of 90 minutes plus the additional optional time, as certainly it is the home side Cabo Warriors that do pick up the maximum three points via a long goal, Keres of Prince Mumba, right towards the dying minutes of uh, this uh, particular game. Certainly Cabo Warriors does break into a top three bracket of the first MTNS Super League log standings. And obviously it will be... Wise, just to acknowledge our man of the match, um, the Shafiki guest walker with the Go TV, Kiles of Mojo, Zambia. He enjoys all the splendor that comes with you being Thank on you. Go TV. Uh, Shafiki, congratulations first of all for this deserved you know, you know, uh, performance that you put across. But just share with me, really, yeah. how difficult was the game for you today? Uh, today, the game was too difficult uh, because uh, we, are, we wanted it so hard. And remember, we are coming out, uh, we, we, the last game we, we lost against uh, Kitra United. So it was a hard time. We were training, but we were focused, knowing that we can't allow to, uh, to lose an, another second game because, uh, we, we, you know, we are focused to, to see that at least we finish up uh, number three or number two so that we can play Confederation Cup. For lack of a, of a better term, obviously, you considered silly goals last weekend against Quito United, but yeah. today you look more solid yeah. in that partnership or, or, alongside, uh, you know, Eric. Yeah. Uh, just how important is it victory for you knowing that you've now moved into third position on the table? Uh, this game, just know that everyone here is happy. Not only players, but uh, to the entire Kabwe town, everyone is happy because uh, they were expecting us to at least to push. Uh, Napsa is a good side. It's a good side. It's not a, a small team. So to see that we came up to here and then we fought and now we are... We are the one uh, going home with three points. It's additional to us and we really appreciate God that we have won this game. Cabo Warriors has been in this position before where, look, they are oh, close yeah. you know, to clinching that continental slot, then they lose it. Yeah. Just how much talk are you having with the rest of the players to concentrate and make sure that this dream does come true? I think we heard about that, but the good thing now is that uh, history is history and we are just looking forward to the future. And the good thing is that uh, we are a lot of new players in this uh, Cabo Warriors side. And uh, remember, every player here, right now, we have big players. Yeah, most like me, I'm coming from Champions League side. We went up to quarterfinals, Champions League. So I know what it means. I've played Continental Champions League for six years, I think, non-stop. So we, we had into the team, and then we, all, we already talked to the uh, to young kids, young players who are coming out, youngsters. We encourage them, we tell them how, how good it is to go and play Confederation. Maybe last time they didn't know how, it, how good it is, but yeah. right now they have a lot of players who have yeah. played Champions League. They know the value of it.
Thank you so much. The yeah. value is quite huge. And obviously, the value of being you in one of the match, you don't only walk away with the Go TV decoder, yeah. you walk away with uh, you know 500 quarter worth of uh, airtime uh, from the league sponsors, MTN Zambia. And certainly, he is the man of the match that has seen him uh, put up a stellar performance uh, to see that his home side does pick up the maximum three points. That's uh, Shafiki, very experienced. And he's added quite a lot of info regards him having played Champions League for six straight years. Congratulations to him for that uh, particular you know, uh, performance. Only, only having won three games out of the 16, and uh, the last five, uh, Levi Monoasa looking a little bit healed from the last time uh, I was here at least. Seems the building sand has offered some relief, you would say. For Indeni to pile the pressure, probably pull one, get the goal first and oh. Chaibela just showing us uh, a clean pair of heels there and uh, left back for Indeni was left for dead. That is a warning sign from Kawa Warriors in six minutes, showing real intent. Oh, that is what you call survival, because that um, was the uh, unfortunate uh, Shafiq uh, Batambuze, because that should have gone in. Looking very flat-footed, this Indeni defense field Candela picks out Shafiq Batambuze. Long throw into the box. Anybody's ball. <laughs> Trying to get to Jimmy Njovu by Warriors. For seem desperate to get that uh, first uh, goal. Njovu just needed to control that ball nicely first time. He will shoot with that left. Really looking good uh, for uh, Kawara. Shafik's ball into that 18 now. That just needed a connection by Jimmy Njovo. I think he does give uh, Shafik Betambuzi the look just to show him where he would like the ball. And uh, Betambuzi delivering a very, very good ball. Looking for that opener. Good ball. Don't give up, Jimbo, don't give up. It is uh, Shafik's will he whip in the cross. He does. Oh, miscommunication there. But it is uh, Shafix who ends up uh, good. All they've had are four draws and a loss. And they didn't. He's one of his teammates who's made the near post run. There's one who's held back his run. Pick out one of those. It's not just a cross into the 18 yard box. No, that doesn't suffice. I'm sorry. To whom it may concern. No, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Findeni score first. But where will that goal come from? This Fighting for the ball. Oh, this is a determined Shafix and uh, in the end wins himself a free kick. One of those players who I think has enjoyed himself since coming to Cabo Warriors, the Ugandan, has brought some very, very nice balance to this left side of Cabo Warriors. Of course, Shaban Kunda did play quite well as uh, Cabo Warriors left back up until Shafik Betambuzi joined them. But I think Warriors, in defense and moving forwards as well, he provides them with so much. Solid defender, quality delivery, and he himself has an eye for goal. A little better when it comes to set pieces, how Warriors have looked. Well, that's one of the examples. And uh, it was an offside, even if uh, there was a goal from Dominic Chanda, it wouldn't have counted. But the power behind that plan is what is amusing them but the breakdown in the system is not helping much this is Shafiq pushing forward now another chance this is Jimmy Njovo a chance here oh still the pressure is on Shafiq ball into the 18 a miss by Twiza Will there be a connection? A chance for Sadiki. Goalkeeper denies him a goal and still pressure here. And Warriors fail to score. Justifying why his first choice goalkeeper for Indeni and Kawa Warriors, it was Shafiq Batambuzi. Cross makes all the way. Poor, poor first touch from Jimmy, Be Jimmy Belek and Lovo. Passage at the back across goal. Or something across, back across the 18 yard box. But to go for goal from that range, kicking it straight into the palms of Charles Lau. The quest to get that goal continues. Looks like Warriors are exploiting Indeni's uh, right back. Seems to be the 
weak link as the ball goes out for a corner kick. Good enterprising play by Shafiq Betambuzi. And he still, con con still continues to be one of the, the possible threats to come up with an assist for Kawa Warriors, exploiting that left flank of theirs and coming up with the goods. Push forward now. This looks a bit with a bit of promise. Oh, but uh, the stoppage is uh, quite good. No foul. In particular, the captain, Clement Mundia and Field Candela, need to reacquaint themselves with their position of discipline. Good oh, classic down. way of bringing back the ball into play. In that uh, regard, so that's not really working for them now. This is Jimmy Njovu. He's got Sadiki for support. But Mbuze with the ball. He's got some uh, intelligent left uh, foot, uh, Shafix. Of course, <laughs> by way of a deflection there, uh, surprises a lot of goalkeepers. And Mokeni is lucky that no touch is made on it as it makes its way to him. But still just lacking purpose, the Indeni attack. That just doesn't work. Needing to advance into the box, and they do. Here comes. Headed out. 